Welcome to the NBC24 Academic Challenge. Here's your host, Norm Bennett. And welcome in everyone to tonight's academic challenge as we enter yet another season. The two teams in competition tonight, the team to my right from Genoa High School. We welcome them in the team to my left from Patrick Henry. We welcome them in as well. As we enter yet another season of the academic challenge, we thank you so much for being here and being with us tonight. Before we get started, we're going to read to you the rules as to how our first round will be played. In our buzz in round, teams can buzz in when they think they know the answer. Each team will be awarded 10 points for every correct answer. If a team answers incorrectly, they will be deducted 10 points. So now you at home are prepared for our first round as our our players. We uh, hope everyone does well here tonight. And it, once again, thanks everyone for supporting our academic challenge. Let your family and friends know so they can watch too. Here we go. Everybody's got their buzzers in hand. The clock is going to start as I read this first question. Buzz in if you know the answer. A defense attorney objects to a line of questioning by the prosecution. What word would the judge speak if he is concurred that the line of questioning was inappropriate? Uh, Genoa. Overruled. Overruled is incorrect. Technically, he would say that he sustained. So he agreed and sustained. So incorrect there. Uh, we move on to our next question. If a pizza is 20 centimeters in diameter and can serve two people, then two slices, then two pizzas, each 30 centimeters in diameter, would serve how many people? Ah, maybe a little too early for math. The correct answer would have been nine at nine people. We move to our next question, and it is a multiple choice. What does equivocal mean? Does it mean A, extremely generous, B, purposely ambivalent, C, energetic, D, deep voiced, or E, belligerent? Genoa. B. B, purposely ambivalent, is the correct answer. We move on. Which term is used to refer to a pituitary dwarf? Is it a gnome, a pixie, a pygmy, a homunculus, or a midget? Uh, bo uh, correction, Patrick Henry. Um, a midget. Midget is actually the technical correct answer. And we move on to the next one. What is the nine-letter name for the biggest peninsula in Southeast Asia? Neither team with a try. We're looking for Indochina would have been a correct answer. On to the next one. In what type of symbols do you clash the metal plates together with a pedal? Any percussionists in the group today? Uh, Patrick Henry. Drums. Uh, drums is incorrect. The correct answer is a hi-hat. That is the technical term for the symbols. We move on to our next one. Which three continents have never hosted the Olympics? Anyone with a try? Time up on that one. It would have been South America, Antarctica, and Africa have never hosted the Olympics. Our next question. Give the following events in chronological order. The pyramids, the wheel, and the cultivation of land. Genoa. The wheel, the pyramids, then the cultivation. The cultivation of land. That is incorrect in order. It would be cultivation of land, then the wheel, then the pyramids. We move on. What would be the total surface area of a cube that has a volume of 64 inches? 64 cubic inches. And time up on the round, not buzzing in in time. The correct answer would have been 96 square inches would have been the correct answer. So that wraps up our first round of questioning. Very close game, only 10 points separating these two teams after round one. We take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll take the opportunity to meet all of our players and press on with our volleyball round. So please stay with us.
Regan Farrell, Jr. Trevor Rines, Jr. Jeff Mullins, Jr. Tanner Rines, Jr. Cameron Page, Sophomore. Travis Hall, Sophomore. I am Benjamin Black and I'm a senior. Kristen Bishop, I'm a senior. Erica Binger, I'm a senior. Betsy Keedy, I'm a senior. Michaela Babcock, junior. Joshua Hathaway, sophomore. In our volleyball round, the low point total team goes first. 10 points will be awarded for every question answered correctly. If a team answers incorrectly, the opposing team gets a chance to steal the question. And if they are correct, they get the following question. Questions will bounce back and forth until the round is complete. Welcome back in everyone to tonight's academic challenge. Now that you've had the opportunity to meet all the players in competition tonight and also know the rules as to how we will play our volleyball round. Let's go ahead and get it started. If you're paying attention to those rules, you know that Genoa will be going first. They get question number one in round number two. So Genoa, this question is for you. What do you associate with Victor Borga? Is it math and science, music and humor, tennis and sportswear, filmmaking and choreography, or food and drink? A. Uh, A, math and science would be incorrect. Patrick Henry gets a chance at it. Film and choreography. Film and choreography is incorrect. It was music and humor for Victor Borga. We move on this question for Patrick Henry. For the first 20 years of America's original oil boom, only one state, technically a commonwealth, was the entire show. Name this eastern state. Kentucky. Kentucky is incorrect. Genoa, a try. Virginia. Virginia is incorrect. It was Pennsylvania would have been a correct answer. Genoa, this for you. The musical term for the overtones of a fundamental note always names the physical science dealing with musical sounds. What is that term? No answer from them. Patrick Henry a try. And harmonics. Harmonic would be the correct answer, and we stay with Patrick Henry. During which century did King George I rule England? 1700s. 17th is incorrect. Genoa a try. 1500s. Uh, incorrect. It was technically the 18th century would have been the correct answer. Genoa for you. Name the two largest U.S. rivers in the Pacific Northwest whose many hydroelectric dams power that region. No try from them. Patrick Henry for you. Time up. It was the Columbia and the Snake Rivers would have been a correct answer. Patrick Henry, your question. Which wrongdoing is not prohibited in the Ten Commandments? Is it stealing, killing, gluttony, adultery, or perjury? Gluttony. Gluttony is a correct answer. Genoa, over to you. What organ in the body may exhibit arrhythmia? Heart. The heart is the correct answer. Patrick Henry, this one for you. Bronsted and Lowry are famous for describing the transfer of protons from acids into what? Bases. Bases is the correct answer. Genoa, back to you. Who instructed a blind man to go and wash in the pool of Salome, which resulted in the man regaining his sight? Jesus. Jesus is the correct answer. Patrick Henry to you. What is the only integer that when added, not enough time for that question, so we will uh, have to end the round right there. And after our second round, Patrick Henry now stretching into a 20-point lead. The score now 30 to 10. But we now take a break, and when we come back, we're going to press on with our lightning rounds. Each team with a chance to make big runs. We'll do that after another break, so stay with us. Welcome back to NBC 24's Academic Challenge. In our lightning round, the low point total team gets to go first and will be awarded 10 points for every correct answer. There are zero deductions for incorrect answers, so guessing is encouraged. 
Each team can pass on a question, but will have to wait for it to be read in its entirety. Each team has three minutes to get in as many questions as they can in our lightning round. Well, we've reached the halfway point of our game. Two rounds complete, two rounds to go. We're going to move on with Genoa as we start our lightning round. As you saw there in the rules, three minutes on the clock for them to get as many questions in as they can. Good luck to you guys. That three minute clock will start as I read this first question. The drug Lovas Lovastatin can reduce the level of which fat like substance by 18 to 34 percent? LDL. LDL. LDL or, co or cholesterol would be actually be uh, a correct answer. We will accept that. We'll move to our next question. Journey to the Center of the Earth was published in 1864 in which language? Spanish. Spanish, incorrect. It was French. Give me the seven letter term for any decision reached by a jury. Verdict. Verdict is correct. Which muscle takes its name from the Latin word for four headed? Pass. Pass. It's quadriceps. Who led the U.S. forces that defeated the Creek Indians at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend? Pass. Pass. That was Andrew Jackson. The tallest building in Las Vegas is naturally what type of building? Skyscraper. No. Casino. A casino would be a correct answer, or a hotel would be acceptable. Next one. Henry Puyi, the last person to hold which office, obtained it at age two and lost it in 1912 when he was six? King. King, incorrect. He was the emperor of China. Next question. What is the official language of Venezuela? Portuguese. Portuguese incorrect. It is Spanish. When is Labor Day in the United States and in Canada? First Monday, September. First Monday, September is correct. In what state is Grambling State University located? Kansas. Kansas incorrect. It is Louisiana. The mole is both a small burrowing animal and a common measure used in which field? Chemistry. Chemistry is correct. What's the only U.S. state to share a border with one of Canada's maritime provinces? Washington. Uh, Washington, incorrect. It is Maine. In 1914, what country was situated at the intersection of France, the German Empire, and the Austro- Austro-Hungarian Empire and Italy. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. In 1962, federal employees were given the right to organize, but not the right to do what, as other workers can. Protest. Protest incorrect. It is strike would be a correct answer. Europe's busiest river runs from the Swiss Alps through Germany and the Netherlands into what body of water? North Sea. North Sea is correct. Which citrus fruit has pink, red, and white varieties? Grapefruit. Grapefruit is correct. God rest ye merry gentlemen brings you tidings of what two things? Pass. Pass. It is comfort and joy. And that is the end of the lightning round questions for the team from Genoa. Now up to 90 points. Same rules, same situation for the team from Patrick Henry. Three minutes on the clock. You guys get to crank out as many answers as you can. So we'll get it started with this first question. Three minutes on the clock for you. The Isle of Wight lies off the southern coast of what country? Pass. Pass. That is England. What article of women's clothing is named after a polymer? Pass. Pass. I'm not wearing mine. Nylons would be the correct answer. These men were associated with the exploration of which ocean? Abdul Tasman, George Vancouver, Vidius Bering, and Sir Francis Drake. The Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is the correct answer. The, sher the Sherbium... Cherubim, it with a flaming sword, kept people away from what? The Garden of Eden. Uh, Eden would be the correct answer, or technically the Tree of Life. That is a correct answer. On what sea is Poland located? The Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean, incorrect. It is the Baltic Sea. What guided the Magi to Jesus? A star. A star is correct. 
The Arctic Fox, the Ptarmigan, and the Stoat have in common that they turn what color in winter? White. White is correct. Most of Idaho's potatoes are grown in what river valley? Pass. Pass. That's the Snake River Valley. The Inside Passage is a series of naturally sheltered channels and straits that forms a dependable and scenic route to Skagway, Alaska from what city in the lower 48? Pass. Pass. It's Seattle. The ball form of what weather phenomenon is also known as a kugelblitz? The lightning. Uh, lightning is correct. What 1972 movie was a musical celebration of the Founding Fathers and the Declaration of Independence? Pass. 1776 would have been the correct movie. Next question, which country is immediately south of Egypt and just west of the Red Sea? Somalia. Somalia, incorrect. It is the Sudan. In football, what kind of pass pattern is named because you head for the uprights? Pass. Pass. That is a post pattern. Which word can refer to a type of rock made of pebbles cemented together or a corporation with divisions in several industries? Conglomerate. Conglomerate is correct. What is the internet address suffix for Russia? Are you? Are you is the correct answer. Which of Albert Einstein's organs was not buried with the rest of his body? His brain. His brain is correct. Name any one year in the life of Leonardo da Vinci. Fifteen sixty two. Fifteen sixty two incorrect. He lived from fourteen fifty two to fifteen nineteen. Would have been a correct answer. Still a very close game we have going here between Patrick Henry and Genoa. And we're gonna find out who is going to move on in this year's tournament right after one break. We'll do our final challenge coming up. Stay with us. Welcome back to NBC 24's Academic Challenge. The teams have made it to the final challenge. This is a buzz-in round, and each question will stop being read once a team buzzes in. Each team will be awarded 10 points for every correctly answered question. When answered incorrectly, the opposing team gets to hear the question in its entirety and has a chance to steal. The only thing separating these teams from victory and defeat is our final challenge. Welcome back everyone to tonight's academic challenge. During the break there, we did a little uh, back checking to make sure our scoring was correct. And uh, in that break, we did uh, deduct 10 points from Genoa. There was a question back in their lightning round questions when they uh, shot out an answer prior to the correct answer. So that would be incorrect. So we gave them points for a question that was technically incorrect. We have made now that correction. So we're back out ready to go with our final challenge. We have the scores corrected. Everybody's got their buzzers in hand. You know how we're going to do this round a little bit different this year. A four minute round here for our final challenge. So lots of questions for everyone to get in. They've got their buzzers in hand. That four minute clock will begin with this first question. Buzz in if you know it. It is the only integer that that when added or multiplied by itself gives the same result. Genoa. Two. Two is the correct answer. In the 1980s, it had the third largest army in the world, exceeded only by the Soviets and the Chinese. Now it's down to 600,000 troops. Name the South Asian nation that built up its army by fighting France, the U.S., and Canada. Genoa. Vietnam. Vietnam is the correct answer. What is ethylene glycol? Is it a fortified gasoline, a motor oil, carburetor fluid, antifreeze, or battery liquid? Uh, Patrick Henry. Antifreeze. Antifreeze is the correct answer. Two angles are supplementary, and one is five times the other. How many degrees is the measure of the smaller angle? Uh, Genoa is buzzed in and 30 is the correct answer. Moving on to the next one, a bit surprisingly, the U.S. Treasury Department, but not the Justice Department, displays the scales of justice on its seal. What cabinet department shows, among other items, an oil well and a windmill? Genoa. 
Department of Energy Resources. Energy is the correct answer. We move to the next question. Troy Ackerman made bowling history in 1993 by becoming the first person to roll three perfect games in one three-game series in a sanctioned competition. What is the total score for a three perfect game series? Genoa. 900 is the correct answer. In which quadrant are both the cosine and the secant functions positive? Patrick Henry. The second. Part. Second is incorrect. Genoa, a try? First. First is incorrect. It is technically the fourth would have been the correct answer. The Colorado River Compact a lot the Colorado River Compact allots the scarce water resources of that river among seven U.S. states, with California and Colorado getting 58% of the total. Name any two of the other five. Patrick Henry. Uh, Arizona and Utah. Arizona, Utah is correct. Wyoming, New Mexico, and Nevada were the other three. Only 10 of its fossils were unearthed in the 20th century. It wasn't until 1988 that a complete skeleton with its preposterously tiny arms were found. Patrick Henry. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is the correct answer. All the books said dinosaurs had a poor sense of smell, but this one seemed to do just fine. Anyway, what did books know? Here was the real thing coming toward him. That is a line from what novel? Patrick Henry. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is the correct answer. Which Latin abbreviation means for example? Patrick Henry. Etc. Uh, Etc. is incorrect. Genoa a try. EG is the correct answer. We move to the next one. Which city in northwest France is known for its magnificent Gothic cathedral? Is it Cartes, Bordeaux, Lourdes, Strasbourg, or Lyons? Uh, Patrick Henry. Lourdes. Lourdes is incorrect. Genoa a try. Can you repeat the choices? Chartres, Bordeaux, Lourdes, Strasbourg, or Lyons? Bordeaux. Bordeaux is incorrect. It was Chartres would have been the correct answer. And pardon my French if I didn't get the pronunciation right. In Spanish, you'd chirp estoy feliz. In French, c'est sous content. What are you saying? Patrick Henry. I am happy. I am happy is correct. Pharrell would be proud. Which swine gets its name from the gross on its face that can be the size of golf balls? Uh, neither team with a try. It would have been Wart Hogs would have been the correct answer. A pretty close game all the way through. Patrick Henry pulls it out as we go through our final challenge. Congratulations to them. They will be moving on in our tournament, and we thank the team from Genoa for being here and putting forth such a great game. We also want to thank everyone at home for being with us here as we enter and get started with our fifth season of the Academic Challenge. I'm Norm Van Ness. Thanks, everyone, for being with us tonight. Thanks for watching Academic Challenge. Be sure to check out the schedule and more at NBC24.com and find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Academic Challenge. Here's a look at some of the upcoming matches. Thanks for watching Academic Challenge.